Woo! You look great. Your dress, oh my god, how'd you get it that poofy? I don't know. Is that photoshopped? We got some new features in Photoshop 2020 that are gonna blow your mind. And today we're looking at customizable warp. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. In today's video, we're gonna show you the new customizable warp in Photoshop. I think this is my favorite new addition to Photoshop 2020. Basically, the old warp tool allowed you to click in different places and transform your image around, but you didn't have a lot of control over what gets transformed and what doesn't get transformed. Now, with customizable warp, you have so much control. We've got a couple of great examples that are gonna show you how to get the most out of customizable warp in Photoshop. So we're gonna start off with just our regular warp tool to show you how this tool has worked traditionally. We'll hit Control or Command T, right click and go to warp right down here. Now I can click and drag and move different parts of my image and you can see it is very cool. Like the fact that I can click and say, you know, pull the bottom area down or pull the top area up. This is actually super helpful, especially for composites that didn't exactly line up, but it's affecting my entire image at the same time. And let's say if I only wanted to affect the shark in this case, it's pretty much impossible to do. So our new warp tool, let's hit escape there. Control or Command T and right click to go to warp. But we don't start clicking and dragging. The first thing we wanna do is right click again and check this out. We have some new options. So we can split horizontally, vertically, or crosswise. So let's start with the horizontal split. We're just gonna go ahead and click here and place this right here in, right above the tail of our subject. So now with our horizontal split, you can see I kind of push my image left and right and it's just, treating it more as like a couple of blocks, but I can start pulling this area down and check this out. It's not affecting the bottom of my image. I'm able to just split what actually gets affected and have a lot more control over these different areas. So let's go ahead and split this again. Now I'm gonna right click, we're gonna split this vertically again, and I'm gonna put this right over here, okay? We're gonna do this right again. So right click, split warp vertically, and put this here. So at this point, if I were to grab this corner, check this out, it's only gonna affect that area of my photo, okay? So I can totally just have all these other areas ignored, something that I was not able to do with traditional warp. Now I can also click here in the middle and check this out. If I push this area up, there we go, it's gonna start pulling the other areas down next to it. Now I do have these little anchor icons that I can then start to move around and warp in these ways. Now I'm gonna hit undo a couple times, just control or command Z. That's not exactly helpful in this case. What I wanna do is make the shark look like its tail is moving a little bit more. So we're gonna do one more split vertically. So let's right click split vertically and we're gonna go right here into the center of the tail. Okay, so now I can start to push this in different ways. And you can see because I'm actually moving this area around, we are getting this surrounding uh, splits or the surrounding cells, they are moving a little bit to uh, accommodate, but you can see because I've split it here and here that these areas on the left and right of my screen are pretty much staying exactly where they're staying still. Now, if I wanna split this again, we'll right click and go to split horizontally again. There we go. We're just gonna push this right here and maybe just push this down a little bit. Here, I can start to just affect areas like the tail or I can still go ahead and affect these areas as well. So if I wanna give the shark a little bit of a swim, there we go. You can see by simply adding these areas, I'm able to move them around. There we go. Again, something you were not able to do at all before Photoshop 2020. Now, a little bonus tip for you here. I recommend hitting Control or Command H. This is gonna hide all of these like lines and things like that so you actually see what you're doing. So hit Control or Command H. Now, if this is the first time you do this, it might ask you if you wanna hide Photoshop or hide the extras, click on hide the extras. So when I hit Control or Command H, you can see that stuff goes away so I can actually see what I've got. I hit Control or Command H one more time and it comes back again. So here's our before and our after. Alrighty, well, we've got one more great example. We're actually gonna use this to make clothing look like it's spreading out a little bit more, make a dress look like it's covering more of an area, a little bit more of a magical feel. So here's our second image. Now, don't forget, you can actually download these sample images on flurn.com. just follow the link right down below. 
So my background layer is locked right now, so I can't hit Control or Command T. So we just wanna double click right here on our background. That just turns it into a normal layer. Then you can hit Control or Command T, right click and go to warp. So again, let's just show you this warp. It's a standard warp at this point. I'm not splitting it. If I wanted to move the dress out, I could do this, but you can see how it's starting to move the rest of my subject and I'd have to kind of try to push her back and just get something that really is just not working. Like <laughs> it's not exactly what we want. So let's hit escape there. Now we're gonna try this again. Control or Command T, right click and go to warp. So that's the first step. You always gotta warp this first. Then you wanna go ahead and split it. So my suggestion, we're gonna split this horizontally. My suggestion is to create a couple points that you don't want to move. And in this case, I don't want like the top half of this photo to move at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a point here. There we go. And that's gonna be our first point. But you can see as I start messing around with this bottom part of the image, there we go. It's actually working pretty well. Sometimes, if you, especially if you do this, it'll start to warp the top as well. So if you need to, you can actually, let's just hit uh, undo a couple times. If you need to, you can just split it again horizontally and that'll make sure that like, hey, if you need to move this area a little bit, it's okay, but it really won't move the top. So now we have a few options. I can right click, I can split this vertically if I want to. Let's go ahead and do that and just take this point right here and bring it right over there. That is so, so cool. And I can just take the corner of my image and bring it right out. Now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna split, say split vertically again, right over here, because I'm noticing that this is uh, the chain link here isn't exactly where I want it to be. So I'm just gonna pull the rest of this kind of in a little bit. There we go. And you know what? We're just gonna remove this one here. So I'm gonna click on it here. We're gonna go to remove warp split. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pull this out here so my chain looks like it's doing its job there. And then we're gonna pull this in just a little bit right over there. I'm excited to see this before and after. So here's our before. The dress definitely got pulled out a little bit and the arm got pulled out a little bit. So let's see if we can fix this arm again with the same tool. Control or Command T, right click, we're gonna go to warp. Okay, we're gonna split this uh, vertically. There we go, right here. And let's go ahead and split this horizontally right here. And we're gonna split this again horizontally right here. And we're gonna split it vertically again right here because I don't wanna affect the face. All right, and you know what? I'm just gonna take this whole point and just drag this to the left. That's gonna make it look a little bit more realistic. All right, we'll just do the same thing with that point there. Fantastic, so isolating a new area and applying the warp there. Now, as I've said before, this is my favorite update to Photoshop 2020, but what's your opinion? And you guys excited about these Photoshop 2020 updates? Leave it in a comment right down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna get more free tutorials every single week, click up here to subscribe. YouTube thinks you're gonna love these videos. And if you wanna learn about more advanced techniques in Photoshop, like retouching and compositing, check up here to learn more about Flurn Pro. Thanks again, I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone.